everybody, what the fuck is up? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez. The one, the only Bird motherfucking Dines, bitch. What the fuck is up, everybody? It is motherfucking New Year's Eve, bitch. It's gonna be 2000 and motherfucking 20. Can you believe that shit? Can you fucking believe that shit? Bitch, I remember when it was like 1999 and it was going to be 2000. And I was like, 2000, the mille millennium. Some, algo decía que it was, it was this name that people kept saying. And people said, oh, the, the world is going to end. Woo -woo -woo. And look, bitch, 2020, what the fuck? I've been with Mario since 2005. Bitch, I feel old as fuck. But you know what I'm saying? I don't feel old as fuck. I feel young as fuck. What the fuck am I talking about, bitch? Um, it's just crazy. It's just crazy to even think about how much bullshit I've been through and to be here now and now I'm fucking alive and I'm motherfucking blessed. Bitch, it's a motherfucking blessing. It's crazy. But anyways, so today I'm going to make some chili. Yeah, I'm not going to make some Mexican food. I'm going to make chili because I love chili. Every time I go to Este Wendy's, I know you're going to be like, really, bitch, Wendy's? But I love getting myself the little, you know, I don't know, it's like cheap, um, the little one. And then they put some cheese and then they put some onion and then it melts. And then I just sit there in the car and I eat it by myself. And I'm just like, heaven, something, something, heaven. And I call my, my mom called me and she's like, what are you going to make? What are you going to cook? What are you going to cook today? And I'm like, chili. And she's like, chili? Guess this was chili. <laughs> I was laughing because every time I tell like a Mexican, like a person that, you know, like that speaks just Spanish, that I'm going to make chili, they're like, chili? Luego, luego. You can't, you can't miss that shit. But anyways, somebody made a comment about my old lady thing saying, what the fuck is that? What, you know, actually, this is just a bottle. I know ole is for the body, right? This bitch is like five years old. So I, we just use the little, for the little pump. But we refill it in the, in the back over there. We have big gallons of fucking soap. Because we go through soap like a motherfucker. You know, your girl's always in the kitchen. So, you know, you cook a lot, you clean a lot, motherfuckers. Okay, so let's get into it. There's a lot of motherfucking um ingredients up in this hole. Not a, like a lot. It's just a lot of condiments. Things that, how you say it? Spices. Condiments is mayo, right? And ketchup, right? And then spices is the spices, yeah. I'm just thinking about how when I'm going through the aisles, I always get it confused. I always think condiments is like the spices. But anyways, I'm going to use three pounds of ground beef. I'm using this motherfucker right here because, yeah, because I'm going to use this motherfucker right here. I'm going to use three of these bitches. Se llama Mi Shima Reserve. Beef ground beef i'm gonna use some motherfucking bacon i like using this one for this shit because this one's thick and it has a lot of fat right there and we want all that grease grease we're gonna want that shit i'm gonna use red bell peppers one green bell pepper i'm gonna use three tomatoes two jalapenos some onion this is kind of a half kind of i don't know what the fuck is going on and we're going to use beans. Yes, I'm using beans in a fucking can. Because you know what? I do that. I'm not like, oh my God, I'm so fucking Mexican that I have to always have beans in the house. Sometimes I don't have beans. I just want to get a fucking... But I like this brand. It's called Bush. Bush? Bushes? Bushes? I call it Bush. It reminds me of George Bush. We're going to use the kidney king. Kidney kings. Kidney beans. And the motherfucking pinto beans. These do not look like pinto beans. They're kind of... Kind of light skin pinto beans. And condiments. Condiments, we're going to use ground cumin. Garlic powder. We're going to use basil, basil leaves. Oregano. Cayenne pepper. Chili powder. Porque, you know, chili, we need chili. On this one's repeat, this is cayenne pepper también, so we can repeat that motherfucker. And we're going to use paprika. And they say tomato paste. You're supposed to use tomato paste. But I have tomato sauce. Same shit, right? Same shit. Same motherfucking shit. Oh. Of course, my motherfucking horse. The cheddar. 
sharp cheddar, whatever. And my favorite, the crackers. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love these bitches right her. I love these bitches right her, bitch. Okay, so let's get this motherfucker popping. I forgot, we're gonna use some garlic cloves. E, we're also gonna use sugar, sugar. E, you're supposed to use this, the, how is it? Beef broth. Pero chingue su madre, no tengo, so what am I going to do? Not make my fucking chili? No. We're going to use a little water, but I'll use whatever you got, motherfuckers. Use motherfuckers. So, we're just going to cut our bell peppers. I see. The girls are helping me. Mandy and Sophia. Mandy, what should we call you? Mandy la candy? Or Mandy la mamona? Mamona. Mandy la mamona? Yeah. And Sophia la tortilla. Remember I used to call you mandarina? And you never knew why? Because Mandy, mandarina, I don't know. It makes sense in my little brain. <coughs> ¿Qué cochos tienes, Mario? Hmm. That's how my cousin stuff. My cousin from Texas? ¿Qué cochos tienes, verga? We say the verga word so many times. And Mario hates it. Mario hates that word. He's like, it sounds so... So what, Mandy? What the fuck did he say? Vulgar? Yeah. <laughs> he ever? <coughs> if he ever? Mira mi voz. <clears throat> if he ever hears me say that shit, how about garrafa in my in my fucking mouth? Oh look what a pretty color, bitch. Yeah. And mandarina helping. This que helping. Mamona. Oh, he's gonna cut my onion. ¿Qué? ¿Te picaron en el culo? ¿Qué tienes, Mario? <laughs> Man, you want to cook? Come help. You don't want to help? Ay, Dios mío, el príncipe no puede hacer nada. And then we're going to go like this. Like this, and like that, and like this, and up. Uh, whoop, whoop. You know the drill, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. And I got my tomate, right? This is why I like to get the hard ones. Because when you get like the, the soft ones, you can't go like this. It's harder for you to like work with them or cut them and shit. So when I'm getting my produce, I'm always like smelling it and touching it and feeling it and kissing it and licking it. Not really. See, que bonito, que chula, nice and easy. And if you get the other ones, the um, the ones that are like soft, you can't do this. It's so much harder. And also like the Roma ones, because they're juicy. But when you cut them up, it's not like like a fucking overflow of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's nice and clean. Not, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, jelly bean. So what are y'all guys doing for New Year's? We are gonna have our little thing. We're we bought a um board game. And also, I'm gonna go buy some strawberries and some grapes because my mom always like at 12, she eats a grape per month. It's for good luck. Also for good luck, you're supposed to wear red calzones. New red underwear. I know my mom for sure is doing it. She always wears red underwear for New Year's. I know mom, everybody knows now, but it's okay. You know what I like to have like New Year's resolutions or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? What I always think is like every day just try to be the best bitch you can be. You know what I'm saying? You don't need a whole year. I mean, it's cool when they have like a New Year's, re New Year's resolution. But always remember you got to be that bitch every day regardless. You don't need a whole year to like be that bitch that you want to be. Um, Love, Bert Martinez. Jalapeño, I'm going to take out the inside because I don't like the seeds. But you can leave it if you want to. And remember, always when you take out the seeds, don't poke your butt, don't touch your face, none of that stuff, unless you like, you know, the little, the little burning sensation, then do it. But if you don't like it, like me, <laughs> yeah, keep your hands out of your ass. Out of your asshole. Ooh, have you seen that fucking meme? I don't know what the fuck it is, this girl. She's like scratching her butt, but she's like going all up in there, like, ooh, like getting ass juice. She got her ass juice, and then she put it on her fucking mouth, like straight up. Marrana, 
wonder what that shit tastes like. I think it's like a fucking... Do you think it's like OCD shit, Mandy? Or some cochinada nomás? Cochinada. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just thinking about it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So yeah, that's how the hot hype in you. Or garlic cloves. Just cut them as thinly as you can. I was gonna use the processor, pero chingue su madre. I'm not gonna fucking clean it for fucking four garlic cloves. I usually use that shit when I'm using like, como se dice? Unos 20 garlic cloves. Pero por cuatro, nah. No voy a gastar. I'm not gonna waste water and shit. I'm just gonna cut these motherfuckers up like thinly. As thinly as I can. It looks like. Toma luego así. Chinga su madre, chinga su madre, chinga. Chinga su madre, chinga su madre, chinga. Chinga su madre, chinga su madre, chinga. Chinga su madre, chinga su madre. Oh, 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 oh. Sofia, give me that fucking knife. What is wrong with you? Sorry. For el bacon. El puerquito. El puerquito que dio la vida por nosotros. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Boom. I'm just gonna cut it like in small pieces. Porque cuando you're eating the chili, you don't want like a big ass piece of bacon. So I'm gonna even cut it smaller than this piece right here. Five years ago, I did a resolution. I said, oh, I'm not gonna curse anymore. I'm done with cursing. Porque everybody always gives me a hard time. Not everybody, but people always give me a hard time telling me that. I was like 26. People would tell me, oh, you're too old for cursing. I'm fucking 33 now. I'm still doing the same shit. But anyways, so it was New Year's. And um, I said, okay, no more cursing for me. And I was done. So it was like, what, one in the morning? And we went to Jack in the Box. And then the girls behind us were like drunk. And they kept calling me uh, names. So, like, right then and there, I was like, you stupid fucking bitch. You fucking hoe. And yeah, so I was like, my resolution for one hour, it lasted for one hour. Because I, I got a little crazy. But you know them bitches, where the fuck were they calling me names, fucking putas? Like, just, I know they were drunk. I wasn't drunk. But you know, you get your ass kicked when you're um, drunk. Don't, that's not a fucking excuse to disrespect somebody that you don't fucking know. I've seen, like, court cases or whatever cases where the guy's like oh i killed my wife because i was under the influence of alcohol and i killed her and i don't know what i was do doing and he gets away with it is that actor with the hair remember mandy the actor with the hair he his hair's like all big like this he oh, yeah. killed his wife the bacon all that grease right there that's what we want con eso we're gonna cook the veggies mm-hmm also on the side, I'm gonna make a mac and cheese casserole. I got this for the mac and cheese casserole, this dish, and I never take it out unless I'm gonna make my mac and cheese casserole. So um, man, that's Mandy's favorite. So she saw me taking it out, right? She's like, mommy, what are you making? And I'm like, when I take this out, you know what time it is? So yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna make the mac and cheese casserole. And also I wanted to tell you guys, so I've been coughing and shit, right? Cause I got the flu. This bitch right here, help me. I took three cucharadas, tables, tablespoons, and it's like honey and, como se dice? Nopales, cacti, and a bunch of like stuff. And the kids could use it. Everybody could use it. You guys can even go Google it and read on the reviews. Everybody's like, this is bomb. So, yeah, this is my motherfucking commercial, bitch. No, for real. I know a lot of people be sick out there. So, I'm just trying to help out. You know what I'm saying? Chicken's ready. So, I'm just going to go like this. And put it on the side. Una napkin. Para que no nos quede all the grease. You know what I'm saying? We don't want all that grease. You know what I mean? We don't need it. Motherfuckers, now I put it on low. I bet you no blinka. Oh, it's good job. You put the onion up in that beat, up in that motherfucker. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna put it in that garlic. And this one. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. That shit was fast. I'm gonna throw that bitch in there. And then, chingasamaja. 
Ooh, bitch. I wish you guys could smell this. Ooh, wee. Ooh, 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 wee. Mira que chula. So pretty. So beautiful. So gorgeous. Like, oh my God. Ashley, look what I could do. I'm not making fun of anybody, guys. I'm just being fun. Mm, six, seven minutes. So now it's everything soft and pretty and beautiful and sexy how's their food sexy bitch i do i caught everything sexy or bitch or i'm weird like that but anyways it's the now we're gonna do the meat so i put the other stuff on the side the same pan because anyways all this stuff is gonna go together at the end it's gonna get remixed so it's okay if i use the same pan it's not a big deal now we're just gonna, como se dice, season this bitch with salt and pepper. And that's it. Nothing fancy. Ahorita, when we get everything together, then we'll put all the ingredientes. Salt. And pepper. Nothing fancy. Just the basics. But the basic stuff is sometimes the important stuff. My pasta's already ready, so I don't hurry the fuck up. Get the bean smasher and just go like that. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Um, people always ask me what the cucaracha is and then they ask me, where do you live? How, why is there a cucaracha around? I'm like, I'm not gonna tell you where I live, but I will tell you guys, there's three of these cucarachas up in this hole. Our, our neighbor used to be the cucaracha, but then her and her husband got a divorce because the husband cheated on her with his own cousin. It's some bullshit, man. But they're really cool. I love the daughter. The daughter's so respectful. Maybe because she's humble because she's been working on her, like, ever since she was a little girl, she was always, this day, you know, working in the cucaracha. And she was so fucking hardworking. I mean, I now I think she's, like, 17. And she's, like, so down to earth. And that's, like, very rare with young kids nowadays. So the ground beef is almost ready. We'll just give it a few more minutes. Um, see all that grease right there? We need that. We like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like my ground beef a little browner because you know I love brown people. So yeah. Now we're gonna do my favorite part, the little remix part. Where we're gonna put all the spices up in this bitch. So we're gonna add... Oh, how do you open this bitch? Okay, we'll just do it like that. Two tablespoons of cumin. Oh, sorry guys. It's the, my measuring things, I lost them because you know what, I never use them. But you know the drill. And then basil, we're gonna put one tablespoon. See? Chili powder, pues es chili. Vamos a poner four tablespoons. Ahí está. And oregano, oregano. Le vamos a echar un chingo, o sea, two tablespoons, because I love oregano, because oh, oregano is life. Y garlic powder, a lot of that, bitch, because, you know, that's, like, really good. So, two tablespoons. And what else do I have here? Cayenne pepper. Not that much, right, because then it gets hot. If you, could, if you want, you could put more. I don't like my food stupid hot because I know I'm Mexican, but I like to taste my shit. The paprika, we're gonna put one baby spoon. I'm gonna remix that motherfucker. I'm gonna taste it right now. I'm gonna wait a little bit because you know what? I'm fucking annoyed. So, they keep pressuring me to talk to my dad that he lives in Mexico because my dad has a house that my mom and my dad built together. So, the motherfucker won't give it to my sister. Just here, daughter, you're the only fucking daughter that lives in fucking Mexico. I should give you this house. No, I want to talk to Erica because he thinks I have money and I don't. I mean, I do, but for my family only. So he wants to talk to me to, to make a deal. He'll give the house in Mexico to my big sister, the one that lives in Mexico, if I send him money every month. And I'm just like, suck a choke on a fucking dick, seriously. I know he's my dad and shit, but like, what makes you think I'm going to send you money? But anyways... They keep, he keeps calling me and calling me and calling me because when it's a call from Mexico, it's like a plus sign and then 052 on my phone. And I guess now he told my mom that he wants me to send him a cell phone. Like, bitch, 
Ugh. I don't hate him. I'm just like, you don't want to be in my life, so why are you trying to be in my life right now? Now that you're old and, you know, he thinks... He used to live in America, but he got deported because he stabbed the guy. Yeah, my dad has been in jail for a lot of years. He has been in trouble. I remember when we were little, um, when you got stopped by the Popos, like, you... Um, and my dad was drunk, right? They would take his ass home. They didn't arrest you. They would just, this was the, like in the 80s, like late 80s, early 90s. This shit was crazy. Anyways, this bitch is pretty good. Hmm. Then I'm going to add sugar. I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar. Y también la sal. Y la sal for flavor. One tablespoon of salt. What happened, Sofia, la tortilla? Oh my god, I can't wait. You can't wait to taste the chili? Yeah, yeah, yeah metal. So that's my I'm just gonna remix everything. Get that packet of chingas. Oh, the, the mac and cheese casserole in the oven. Let's get this bitch started. One thing, when I open these motherfuckers, I use the colander and I put it because I don't like the water in there. I don't know why. I'm not a big fan of that weird water because it's, it's like sticky. So I don't know. If you wanna leave it, you can leave it, but I don't like to leave it. I'm gonna put the tomato stuff up in this bitch. You hear that? That's my broiler. We're gonna add the remix stuff. Everything in there. Everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. Let's remix this bitch. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. You wanna see? I use a lot of spoons when I cook, bitch. We're gonna add this bitch in there. That bitch in there. All of these bitches. Man, I guess so It smells amazing. Smelly singing. ¿Qué quieres, mamona? She wants me to get, get her some fucking, um, not Starbucks. It's called Coffee Kiosk. It's her favorite. Up in that bitch. Up in that hoe. Bacon, mm, 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 mm. the bacon, the bacon, bacon. This is where I'm supposed to put the chicken broth, but I'm gonna put water instead. Wanna add the water? And see, oh my god, I need water. Oh my god. You want water, Papa? Yeah. Okay, you got the sibo. Mmm. We have to wait to be everything to waiting thing. You know what I'm saying? So I added two cups. I don't know if I should, I should add one more. I ended up adding three cups of water because Sophia came and looked at it and she's like, mama, I think you should add half of it. And look, perfection. Sophia, you're good at this. You're the next one. You're a little bird. Um, Mona, what are you looking at? <laughs> so adding some black pepper. Packet pip for the kick. You know what this reminds me of? Lentils. You guys have lentils the Mexican way with bacon and um, and the weenies. My my mother-in-law puts egg. I don't know about that. I don't like that part. <clears throat> Mac and cheese casseroles ready. Mm hmm And Sophia is ready, 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 ready. I usually use the other thingy to cook with it, to cook mac and cheese with, but I had so many fucking pasta, and I knew, I knew it wasn't going to fit. So, I liked it better in here because it's like layers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so fucking good. Look at that shit. Ah. Feels like Thanksgiving. Back to our chili. Este, I'm gonna let it cook for, hmm, one, two, two hours? Because that's the point of chili. You want it to be like very, very like gooey and good and amazing. Okay, okay, okay. It's been an hour and a half. I think it's ready. Ooh. If you want it like less watery, just leave it longer. But I like my shit like this. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Sophia. Can't wait. Are you excited? Yes. It's hot. Te dije pendeja. It's so Mm -hmm. Yeah, I cracked the crackers and put them in there. And she says she hopes 
And when she grows up, the man who she falls in love with is good at cooking. Is good at cooking or a chef? If he loves you, he's gonna make you happy, you know? When I tell you this this shit is fucking fire, it is fucking fire, bro. Like, ooh wee! I love it. I have to taste a little bit, you know, because I need to see if it needed something. It doesn't need anything. Salt, nothing. But it is really, really hot. Like, give it some time and then try it. But I'm not. I'm just going to go for it. I've been waiting for like 10 minutes, bitch. Davia doesn't cool down. I guess because it was cooking for a long time. Mm. Like, all the flavors unite. Made love and made this beautiful child right here. You guys need to try it. Sophia fucking loved it. She burned her mouth trying to, trying to try it off, try it out, and then... The crackers help. The crackers help. She says the crackers is the ice. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, I want to tell you guys that I hope you guys have a good-ass fucking New Year's. Be safe out there. Don't be, like, doing stuff. You know, if you get drunk, get drunk in your motherfucking house. I don't understand how people can fucking drive, bitch. Like, I don't... I've never driven. I'm drunk. Pero imagínate. Este, I have people telling me, no, nah, no, nah, I could I could drive. I drive better when I'm drunk. Don't drive drunk, bitch. You don't want to fucking kill somebody and then regret it for the rest of your life. Este... I hope you guys... And nothing but the best for 2020, motherfuckers. Here we come. Y que mas? I love you guys to all my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers. I love you. Peace and love.